channel with Savvy Gang. I'm gonna take this gum out of my mouth, cause if I don't, y'all, I might act up. And now y'all gonna hear the whole time. So, check this out. Somewhere. Somewhere. But yes, guys. So like I was saying, welcome back to my channel with Sabi Gang. So before I start the video, go ahead and click that subscribe button to subscribe to the channel to get more videos and see what I upload. If you want to know and get notifications, so click the notification bell if you want to get notifications when I do post. And go ahead and watch the other videos if you're new to the channel. You know, because your girl, um, I'm back. And I'm back, 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 back. <laughs> anyway, so... Today's video is going to be a try on haul for Play-Doh's Closet. Y'all know I love me some Forever 21. I love me some Fashion Nova. I love me some American Eagle. I love all those high-end. Well, they're not really high-end. They're not like Gucci. But they're more expensive than um, thrift clothes. But y'all know your girl be thrifting more than she shop in regular stores so today's video is going to be a thrift store haul because play a closet is if y'all didn't know a thrift store so i bought a couple things from play-doh's closet and i'm going to share it with <sighs> so the first thing that caught my eye at Play-Doh's Closet when I um went was a jacket, but since we're starting off with the shoes, um, I seen these boots, cause I know it's gonna be cold, and I was looking for boots. That's why I really went to Play-Doh's Closet that day, looking for boots, cause I didn't wanna go in the store, pay $40 for some boots. It may look like that because I, I wore them. Well, I didn't really wear them out. I just tried them on, and you know leather as soon as you walk one step with it, it crease but these have the hard things here so this will never crease but i paid fourteen dollars fourteen dollars fourteen dollars for these boots size six and a half as you can see the bottoms never warm and they were brand new in the store fourteen dollars for these boot seats in the stores, I believe these could go for good around 30, 30 and up, honestly. Let's be honest with ourselves. 30 and up, and I got these for $14. boots but these are lower and they're like combat looking boots I wore these already I do have combat boots but I wanted them more like this and granted I hate I hate high top shoes not because they're ugly but because they look ugly on me because my thighs I feel like my legs are so short and chunky and chubby Ew. so I had to get used to this but I like it, no? These were $16. These can go from 20, 20 and up, I believe. I believe, I like I said, I did not do my research on these or where they came from. Um, the store that they originally came from is BP. I never heard of that store, so if you know that store or website or whatever it is, the company, that's where it's from. But $16, um, yeah, totally worth it. Um, I love them. Uh, they go with a lot, and plus I already have brown boots, so I needed black, and plus I didn't like, I don't like my combat boots. I had those since 10th grade high school days, and I just don't like them. They're too high, I, I just don't like them. So these 
were a must. When I seen them, they seen me, you know the story. Had to get them. Here they are, $16 guys. So the next pair of shoes that I bought, for some reason, at first when I seen them, I was just like, oh my gosh, they are so cute, but is it really worth getting them? Like, do I really want to spend my money? But then I looked at them and I, I thought of my mom like, Sabrina, if your mom was here, she would slap you like, you better get them <laughs> because they're so vintage and they're my style. You see what I'm saying? At first I'm just like, ugh, do I really want to spend $12? Like, ugh. I came here for sweaters and boots. Then I seen these vintage sandals. They're like sandal heels because they have a little thing to them. They're $12, like I said. These were from Topshop. Now, if y'all know what Topshop is, y'all already know these things are expensive. And I did look this up. This went for, I think, $80. 80 something dollars almost a hundred around that like they're so vintage and so cute now in the next slide i'm gonna show y'all them on my feet please do not come for my toes guys i knew they need to be done i just don't be having time to go get them done but yeah so saying in the beginning um when i first went in there the first thing that caught my eye was this leather jacket i've been searching for a leather jacket everywhere but you already know these leather jackets be expensive like 40 35 and up you see what i'm saying um but i got this for hey, how much is this what's your tag i think this was ten dollars I guess I took the tag off. But I didn't wear it. That's new. I never took the tag off. But this is originally from Charlotte Rue, so I already know it was $35 and up. Probably 40. But yes, it's real um thick. It's not that thin cheap plastic leather. Um and it went perfectly with my leather skirt. It went perfectly skirt um so i just had to get it i, I just had to i couldn't pass ten dollars paying ten dollars for this i just cut it and it was a large and i like my things extra big and cozy on me was this long velvet purple skirt. It also has a long split in the front. The reason why I really bought this was for Christmas, just to take pictures, because I'm probably not gonna go nowhere for Christmas, I don't know. If there's a Christmas party or something, I'll wear this or one of my fuzzy sweaters, you know? So, I paid, was it for them? No. I paid, I was kind of mad, I'm not gonna lie to you. Cause this, this is from, it's a, it's a, um, it's a large, um, what's wrong with me? It's a large from Hot Gal. So I guess, and the store, this is brand new, tag and everything, original tag. That's play was probably number one mistake, first mistake. You left the original tag for me to see that it was originally on sale four dollars but i paid nine dollars at Plato's closet i was kind of mad about that like no 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 don't cheat me first of all because it was four dollars let's see what the original price was i think the original price was 19.99 for this um but it's from hot girl i paid 
I paid um, half gal. I paid nine dollars for this. So yeah. fuzzy sweater it's originally from pure pure slash us it's in a size small it was still too big even it being a small um i got this because i love love you see the fuzziness and with the material comes a problem of shedding that's what I hate about it so y'all probably already seen this on the Instagram post that I'm about to post today but you're gonna be watching this video probably like two three days later so go on my Instagram and follow me y'all um, the, the link is in the description box below go follow my Instagram and that's where I'll be most of the time, so keep up with me on Instagram. So, um, Sabi48, S-A-B-I-48 on Instagram, if you don't want to follow it. Anyways, uh, I hate the shedding. Um, I paid, how much? $10 for this. I love the style of it. Like I said, it is a small, but over here, like when it comes when I was wearing it and taking my pictures, this would keep opening and my bra would be out. One thing I hate about it, um, so yeah, the two things, shedding and even though it's a small, it's too big. After that, I don't have no problem with it. It's cute, love it, warmth, Ooh, it's warmth. <laughs> it gives me warmth. Well, really, I don't know if it gives me warmth or not because it wasn't even cold that day. It was kind of hot. But, yeah. So, last but not least, the last thing that I got from um, Plato's Closet was this em em embroidered, embroidered, not word, embroidered um, top. It has puffy sleeves. Um, it's originally from Zara, um, size small. And it was $12, and y'all already know Zara is expensive. So, this is how it looks. Let's try it. I hope you enjoyed watching me try on clothes for you and teaching you how to save your money and not everything is in these high-end stores. You can find things for the cheap and look stylish and you can find expensive stuff that already been used and you paying cheaper even if it's out of style. Um, shop the next year like okay just because it's out of style one thing I learned about fashion is Fashion is like recycling. It's being reused. So the style that's here this year could be the same style next year. So now that it's winter, um, there's a lot of sweaters, kinda, in thrift stores. 
but there's gonna be more summer clothes. So go get you some summer stuff. Soon as summer come, you're ready for the low. While everybody's paying $37 for something, you already have it and stocked up in your closet. So I'm trying to tell you, you don't have to shop at Forever 21. You don't have to shop at um, any expensive, whatever is expensive to you to look good. You can go to the thrift store and like it's a balance, honestly. I balance because trust me, I love me. So Forever 21, Forever 21, if you're watching this, sponsor me. Um, I love Forever 21, love everything that I have is mostly Forever 21. But I'm trying to tell you, balance your money between buying expensive stuff and thrift. Like I balance real well, real well. So yeah, I just hope y'all enjoyed this video and please subscribe to my channel, like this video. If you like the video, comment down below which piece was your favorite. Um, make sure you subscribe to the channel. I said that already? Yeah, that's very important. Click the notification bell um, so y'all can learn every time. Learn. So y'all can know every time I post. And yes, all my social media things are down below. I do not have a Twitter, but I do have a Snapchat. I do have an Instagram. You need to go follow me. And I do have a Facebook. Um, so yes, thank you for watching this video with Sabi Gang. Be safe. Stay safe. Pray up. Peace, Sabi Gang. <laughs> so back in the day when they used to do music videos, 